Here we go. We're, we're, we're doing action now, so we're quiet on the set now, Jack. Okay. So, Aretha, you were telling us about the fact of growing up in Connacht. So, paint a picture for the people that don't know a little bit about Connacht. Well, Talk loud, too. Connacht uh, is where I went to school, and uh, life was pretty good for me. Um, I remember, well, Oh, Erie. Mm -hmm. Just kind of paint a paint a picture about, you know, the climate, the racial situation, because you know we're talking about slavery. And we're talking about racism and discrimination, so that's the stuff I want you to focus on. Well, I can't focus on something that I don't know anything about. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But but did you experience any any racism and that kind of stuff growing up in the sixties and the fifties and No. You didn't never experience no. any of that. Mm -mm. So everything was fine for you growing up down in Marshall. Right. So did you did you and, and when you when you uh answering the questions, Aretha, just bring bring them way out. Cause see, if you just say yes, no, then that won't be enough for me to edit anything. I want you to elaborate on them. Mm -hmm. Okay. So elaborate a little bit on uh describe for us the scene of Connacht. Uh what year did you grow up there? Uh what year? I, that was all, all my life. What what years was that? In mm -hmm. in what forty six? Let's see here. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not. I, I'm mm -hmm. I'm not. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, life was life was good. I didn't experience any. Uh, uh, what are you saying? Any the racism? Racism. I didn't know anything about that. I mean, I, I heard about it, but I was too young to. So it wasn't something that that I witnessed. So so growing up in in Marshall, I took Aunt Sarah down to the Mimosa Hall Plantation where we found one of our ancestors, Miriam Williams. She's buried next to the slave master. She was unaware that it was a slave plantation not too far from where you all grew up. Were you aware of any slave plantations no. down there? Elaborate on that for me. No, I, I didn't witness anything about slave uh, plantation. So I, I can only go by <clears throat> what I experienced, and I, I didn't experience any any uh, violence like... Uh, um, Here you really got me on the spot. No, no, you're doing good. I'm, I'm trying. Turn down just a little bit more for the chair. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm wondering what you're talking about. I, I didn't experience any racism, uh -huh. uh, nothing like that. Well, tell us a little bit about your father and mother, uh, James, grandfather James and grandmother Joanna. Well, my mother, Joanna Williams, and James Clifford. Williams. Uh, my my father passed away. I think I was about maybe eight years old. Um, could have been older in fifty two. And so I d didn't really know a lot about my daddy. As uh, far as racism, I didn't witness any of that. I'm pretty sure it was there, but I didn't know anything about it. Uh, but I, I I remember. Growing up, uh, our house burned to the ground, and the very one that was would sleep all the time, she, which was Kizel, my sister, she was the one that uh, got us out of the house. Everything burned down. The only thing we saved was a sewing machine, and my mother went to. The butane tank to cut it off, and we were screaming and hollering and telling her, "Don't, you know, she uh, she might be killed." But uh, other than that, so uh, did, did, did Grandma Joanna and, and and Grandfather James ever talk about life growing up for them in Connacht? Uh, no, no, they never talked about it because 
Like I say, my hold on one second, because I'm 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 able I'm seeing his thing picking up on your audio. Tell him turn it down a little bit. Cut it down, Jack. I'll go in, go in my room. Yeah, yeah. You go in there in your, your grandma's room, and then you can turn it as loud as you want, man, because you, you... Okay. No, because it's, it's picking up on your aunt, your grandmama's interview. <laughs> You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, see, it, it, it was... I didn't really... Uh, like I say, my father died when I was probably about 10. Maybe it might not have been that old. So I really didn't... Uh, doing a talking to my father about. I, I got. I'm picking up that. To, you go ahead and tell it, turn it down a little bit. I ain't really because that's Jack. Or close the door. Close the door. Close the door. So we can't hear it. So we can't hear it at all. We don't want to hear it at all, Jack. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but I got to film your grandmama and your audio is being picked up on the video, and we can't have that. 